You know what saddens me the most about this whole situation is that over something as stupid as a pair of sneakers, it showed me so clearly once again on just how divided our country is. So that was Roman Scharf, the CEO of Luxury Bazaar, a man who's uh, <laughs> been in newspapers lately for his controversial portraits of Donald Trump's sneakers for which he paid $9,000, uh, pretending that uh, he cares about the country's division. Oh, he says, oh, you know, it showed me that it's so divided. Like he didn't say these words after he immediately purchased the shoes. Let's play the clip. Hopefully we're gonna have a winning, fuck uh, hopefully, we're gonna have a winning celebration come this November. I will be wearing these one of one Donald sign. Donald Trump signed sneakers, but the only president I recognized the last four years, Donald J. Trump. I guess Roman has a very weird selective memory because he either forgot that he didn't just buy a pair of shoes and it wasn't just anybody's pair of shoes. It was a political pair of shoes supporting a, a very specific, very polarizing uh, individual. And uh, what did Roman do with his opportunity to talk to power, he spread more stolen election misinformation and conspiracy theories. Like those are not the ones that divide us. Look, sucker is born every single day. And earlier today, we've got the news that Roman is flying out to meet Donald J. Trump at his Mar-a-Lago resort. But this will be the first time. I literally got the call three hours ago, left my office, Grab the suitcase and a suit, and I'm on my way. My, I'm, I'm boarding in about eight minutes. <laughs> Probably because uh, Trump wants to uh, get even more money out of this idiot. So let me know, guys, in the comment section, how much money you think Roman is going to uh, spend while he's at Mar-a-Lago on, uh, on Donald J. Trump. That's it. Tim Wright signing out. I'll see you guys on the live stream.